A baseball player injures his wrist while using his hand to stop a fall. He has a marked tenderness within the anatomical snub box. Radiographic examination reveals a fractured carpal bone. Which bone was most likely fractured? The anatomical snub box is located on the dorsolateral aspect of the wrist. It is a shallow triangular depression that is visible when the thumb is extended. The name originates from the use of this surface for placing and then sniffing powdered tobacco or snuff. The tendons of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis bound the anatomical snuff box anteriorly. The tendon of extensor pollicis longus bounds it posteriorly. In its floor can be felt the styloid process of the radius and the scaphoid bone in addition to the trapezium and the base of the thumb metacarpal. Pulsations of the radial artery can be felt within the box. Tenderness in the snuff box is an important sign of fracture of the scaphoid. The scaphoid has a prominent scaphoid tubercle, which is a blunt prominence to the thumb side of the distal skill crease of the wrist, and it is palpable. The scaphoid is the largest bone in the proximal row of the carpal bones. The scaphoid is the most frequently fractured carpal bone. It often results from a fall on the palm when the hand is abducted. Owing to the poor blood supply of the proximal part of the scaphoid, delayed union may take place. Avascular necrosis of the proximal fragment may also result. Avascular necrosis means death due to insufficient blood supply. Again, I repeat, tenderness in the snuff box is an important sign of a fractured scaphoid which is the most frequently bone of the carpals to be fractured. The lunate bone is located next to the scaphoid on its medial side, and it is the carpal bone most commonly dislocated. The triketral is more medial in position. The hamate is the most medial bone of the distal row, and as its name indicates, it has a little hook. The hook extends anteriorly. It can be palpated on deep pressure over the medial side of the hand at the base of the hypothenar eminence and is not laterally located as in the scenario. The hook can be injured and this might result in injury of the nearby ulnar nerve. The capitate is the largest bone in the carpus. It is the third bone in the distal row of carpal bones and is located away from the anatomical snub box. It is less likely to be fractured.